January 10th of 2019, Mosaic issued a condition critical notice to the Louisiana state regulators that stated that their phospho gypsum stack located on their Uncle Sam plant was slowly shifting half of an inch a day and had already moved a few feet. To try to stop this catastrophe, Mosaic began to pump the 700 million gallons of toxic water from the top of their stack into a pond on the property. It was never made public whether or not this pond was lined, but it sure didn't look like it to us. Mosaic says it is staging equipment and trucks around the pond to stop the polluted water from escaping into the nearby canals. But when we were there, except for one small tractor, we did not see any trucks or equipment around this pond. With the toxic water now contained in this pond, Mosaic has enlisted an army of dump trucks and bulldozers to begin hauling in thousands of truckloads of dirt to help shore up the entire north side of the gypsum stack. They are piling the dirt on a nearby sugarcane field, which is where the first signs of the problem occurred. A farmer noticed a large bump in his fields after he had harvested his sugarcane. If he hadn't made this call, this disaster could have been a lot more serious. A spokesman for the company blamed the movement on a geological event. She went on to explain that the phospho gypsum stack is a highly engineered and regulated structure and the company will be installing sensors to monitor any movement of the pile. This gyp stack is about 3,000 feet long, 1,500 feet wide, and 190 feet tall. Using simple math, this pile weighs roughly 40 million tons. You would have to be a complete idiot to think that you would not get a geological event under the sheer weight of this stack. The company has also brought in experts to help figure out a way to stop the pile from moving. I gotta ask the question, if this pile is so highly engineered and regulated, why isn't there already sensors to monitor any movement, and why isn't there a plan in place in case the pile does start moving? The spokesman went on to say that the processed water has the acidic level of a glass of lemon juice. What the spokesman failed to mention is that it is also radioactive because it contains uranium, arsenic, chromium, mercury, and large amounts of fluoride. Mosaic is also in the process of constructing another pond next to the pile that is lined, but it is not quite ready for this toxic water. This pond will be able to store this water until they can figure out where they're going to keep it permanently. I just don't know why they keep this toxic water on top of these gypsum stacks. They constantly have breaches in the dikes which allows the water to escape to the surrounding land and water. It makes much more sense to store the water in a lined pond in the ground instead of 200 feet high on top of a mountain. We did not see any mining operations around this plant, but since it is located next to the Mississippi River, we have to assume that the phosphate rock is being mined upstream of the plant and is being brought here by a barge to be processed. Phosphogypsum is a byproduct of the fertilizing process and is radioactive and very acidic. For every one ton of fertilizer, they create five tons of phosphogypsum. This disaster happened during the government shutdown, so many EPA workers were not on the ground when this accident happened. Hopefully with the shutdown over, these EPA workers can get back to doing their job. Mosaic is no stranger to catastrophic disasters. This is just one of many in the company's history. A sinkhole in 2016 opened up in the middle of one of these ponds and drained 215 million gallons of radioactive water right into the Florida aquifer. These two disasters happen while the company has been operating on a federal consent decree as a result of an eight-year investigation on how the company handles their toxic waste. This investigation resulted in a $1.8 billion fine for the misuse of their waste, but yet, Mosaic still gets permits to continue poisoning our water. It just doesn't make any sense. This company is a ticking time bomb, and it is just a matter of time before they cause a catastrophe that will poison the drinking water of millions of people. How many more of these gyp stacks will this company be allowed to build before we finally say enough is enough?